Hello and welcome back to Unique Stories. Today, I am going to recap a science fiction, thriller movie from 2009, named Splice. Warning! This video contains huge spoilers. So, watch out and take care. Genetic engineers Elsa and Clive work for a huge pharma company named NERD aka Nucleic Exchange Research and Development. Both of them strive to find a cure for diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's using modified DNA sequences and proteins. Using methods of biotechnology, they yield two vermiform creatures named Fred and Ginger. They could use their unique DNA and revolutionize the world of modern medicine. They are ecstatic about their newfound success and decide to show their work to their superiors. Clive and Elsa propose to work upon a human-animal hybrid using the same splicing techniques they used for Fred and Ginger. However, the company superior strictly forbade them from doing any kind of experiments related to humans, because that could lead to grave consequences. But, without paying any heed to their superior's warning, Clive and Elsa start working on a human-animal hybrid. They decided to keep everything a secret and also promised each other that they would kill the creature before it attains full term. However, when the fetus started showing remarkable growth, Elsa developed motherly instincts towards it. In spite of their promise, Elsa suggested that they should continue to give life support to the fetus. Clive was visibly exasperated but, he too agreed with Elsa's wishes. The creature continued to grow exponentially. The splice DNA increased its capability to grow in age. Within a short span of time, a human-animal hybrid creature was born. Elsa and Clive named the creature as Dren. Due to its fast aging, Dren had turned into a pre-adolescent girl child. She even had the IQ of a human child. Another special trait that Dren had developed was a long tail along with a stinger at its end. Due to DNA mutation, the stinger produced a lethal venom which could kill anyone in an instant. Now, the biggest hurdle for Elsa and Clive was, to protect the identity of Dren. If anyone got to know about her, then both Elsa and Clive would be in great trouble. Elsa treated Dren as her own child. She took care of her and even taught her new things every day. One day, Dren developed a high fever. Clive had no other option but to submerge her into a cooling tank. The water in the tank leads her to use her gills for the first time. Now, Elsa was sure that Dren could breathe underwater. Several days pass and finally the date has arrived. Today Elsa and Clive were finally going to show their creation, Fred and Ginger to the world. In a shocking turn of events, Fred and Ginger kill each other in front of a huge public gathering. Everyone is terrified and the company demanded answers. After some research, Elsa finds that Ginger had automatically changed herself into a male. After this, she gets worried about Dren as well. The couple, then decide to confine Dren inside a desolate barn. Dren has already grown up and attained puberty. She likes to dress up and put on makeup. However, she is extremely agitated with the way she is confined and not allowed to go out. She feels lonely and gets attached to a cute cat. Elsa notices everything. She even finds several sketches of Clive, but none that includes her. She senses that Dren is developing feelings for Clive. Suddenly, Elsa snatches away the pet cat from Dren and says that one cannot have everything they want, indicating it as a warning. Dren is absolutely devastated by Elsa's attitude. She starts crying. However, Elsa then feels sorry for Dren and changes her mind. She brings the cat with her. But to her utter surprise, Dren stings the cat to death. She pins the angry Elsa down and takes away the barn keys. Just then, Elsa knocks her out. She brutally chains her and takes off all her clothes. She prepares a knife amputates Dren's tail. Clive arrives at the scene. He is shocked and urges her to stop. Elsa leaves, saying that Dren is showing violent characteristics like Fred and Ginger. That day, Clive returns home. Even he starts having forbidden feelings for Dren. Next day, when he reaches the barn Dren stretches her wings and tries to seduce Clive. He could not stop himself from getting attracted towards her and they both end up making love. Meanwhile, Elsa catches them both, red-handed during the act. She bursts into tears and drives away. Clive tries to explain but things go out of hand. Back at home, Elsa and Clive have a huge fight. Clive regrets his actions but also accuses her of sneakily mixing her DNA into Dren's gene pool. They both arrive at a firm but difficult decision. They decided to kill Dren. However, as soon as they reached the barn Dren was already in a dying state. Elsa feels terrible about her actions. After Dren's death, they bury her body behind the barn. Meanwhile, Clive's brother Gavin and the company superior arrive at the spot. They inquire about Dren's whereabouts. But, to their shock, Dren's body was already missing. A terrible noise gets their attention. Dren had metamorphosed and turned into a larger and fiercer creature. Actually, just like Ginger and Fred, Dren also developed gender-modifying characters. 
Dren had changed into a male creature now. He aims to mate with Elsa. He pins her down and rapes her. He also kills Gavin and the superior as well. Clive tries to protect Elsa but instead, gets knocked out by Dren. Elsa tries to hit him but gets overwhelmed with guilt. In that split second, Dren takes the opportunity and kills Clive. Elsa is devastated and finally kills the creature. Scene cuts to the headquarters of the company. The company superior offers a huge sum of money to Elsa. Elsa accepts the money and agrees to provide the company with Dren's miraculous DNA. At the end, Elsa is seen pregnant with Dren's child. If you like the video, then please subscribe to our channel and help us to grow. Also, do not forget to hit the like button.